The volcano snail is one of the most unconventional snail species and animals in the world. They live in shells made of iron, they have iron bits on their feet, and they don't need to eat. These scaly food snails live in extreme conditions of heat and pressure. They can be considered living relics, since their awe-inspiring features used to be pretty common half a billion years ago. The volcano snail is classified as Chrysomalum squamiferum. Chrysomalum comes from ancient Greek and means golden-haired, after the golden color of one of the iron sulfide compounds, pyrite, which is located in the shell of the snail. The specific name squamiferum is from Latin and means bearing scales, alluding to the iron pieces on the foot of the snail called sclerites. Volcano snails are deep-sea snails which inhabit the hydrothermal vents miles below sea level. These vents spew scalding hot mineral water and the volcano snails have adapted to the extreme conditions of this environment by escaping themselves in iron. Volcano snails are also commonly known as sea pangolins, scaly foot gastropods and scaly foot snails. They belong to the family Peltospiridae, which is a very small family of gastropods that contains no subfamilies. The snails also belong to the order of deep-sea snails, Neomphalida. The volcano snail's hydrothermal habitat influenced some of its physical and dietary evolutionary traits over millions of years. Mineralized iron and sulfur infuse the shells and bodies of these snails. However, while volcano snails are the only animals on Earth that have this incredible feature, it was a pretty common physical trait in the Cambrian epoch 540 million years ago. Volcano snails are able to withstand harsh temperatures and extremely low pressure due to their iron-clad armor. Studies of the volcano snail's genes reveal that the genes which control its scaly foot and shell actually did not evolve much in the last 540 million years. That means that the genes are much older than this. The volcano snails also develop large hearts, which make up 4% of its body volume, an unusually large proportion. This is to provide enough oxygen for the endosymbiotic bacteria that live in its stomach and provide for its nutritional and energy needs. The sea pangolin comes from the gastropod family Peltospiridae, whose first recorded appearance in history occurred in the Eocene period 47.8 million to 41.3 million years ago. The volcano snail has one of the most unique and bizarre bodies in the animal kingdom. It is the only animal species whose body is made of mineralized iron. Because this snail lives in hydrothermal vents miles deep in the ocean, it is subject to intense atmospheric pressure and intense heat of up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. It has adapted to these conditions by forming a body that can withstand and protect it. The shell of the sea pangolin consists of three layers, the outer layer, middle layer, and inner layer. The outer layer of the volcano snail's shell is made of iron sulfides, and it is the only animal whose skeleton possesses this substance. The outer shell is 30 nanometers thick and black. The middle layer of the shell is the waterproof organic layer of skin found in gastropods. It is thick, brown, and made of a variety of proteins, which are conchin. This middle layer of the snail's shell is tough and protects the body against physical stress and tension such as a predator attack. It also serves to disperse excess heat. The inner layer of the shell is creamy white in color due to the presence of aragonite, a type of calcium carbonate. The shell of the sea pangolin has three whorls, and the shell opening is elliptical. The snail foot is one of the most characteristic features of the volcano snail. Hundreds of iron sclerites reinforce its sides that measure about 1 to 5 mm each. These sclerites are hard, calcified pieces of mineralized iron with soft tissue at each one's core. The outermost layer of the sclerite is made of iron pyrite sulfides. The sclerites give the snail's foot a scaly appearance, hence its nickname, scaly foot gastropod. The function of the sclerites are currently unknown, but what we exactly know is that the body of the volcano snail is red in color. The volcano snail's internal organs differ from a lot of snail and animal species as well. It has a really big heart, and we don't mean its kindness. Its heart makes up about 4% of its body volume, which is large for any animal. To compare, the human heart is only 0.3% of our body volume. The digestive system of the sea pangolin is simple and lacks development. 
Zoologists believe that it doesn't eat, so it depends on endosymbiotic bacteria to produce energy for it. The snail has an esophageal gland where these bacteria reside. It also has a stomach, a reduced intestine, and an anus just above the genital opening. The volcano snail does not have eyes or tentacles. There is little to almost no information about the behavior and habits of the volcano snail due mostly to the harshness of its environment. The scaly foot gastropod lives at hydrothermal vents in the Indian Ocean. Here, they interact with other often venomous snail species and crabs as well who prey on the volcanic snail. It is unclear whether or not the snails live a solitary life, but it is possible, especially considering the fact that they are hermaphrodites. They do not need to mate with other snails to reproduce. Volcano snails also live a sedentary lifestyle, because they partner with endosymbiotic bacteria to cater for their nutritional needs, they do not need to hunt for prey. Their digestive system is poorly developed anyway, so they are not active creatures. A fun fact about volcano snails is that they do not need to eat food to survive. While this may sound impossible, it is perfectly normal life for the snail. The volcano snail is an obligate symbiotroph. After their larval stage, they get all of their nourishment not from feeding but from endosymbiotic bacteria. These bacteria make their own food through a process called chemoautotrophy or chemosynthesis. The volcano snail has an esophageal gland that houses the endosymbiotic bacteria. This gland is about a thousand times bigger than it is in other snails to properly lodge the bacteria. It also has a stomach containing pellets, likely sulfur granules, made by the bacteria to detoxify hydrogen sulfide. Volcano snails are endemic to Africa, particularly the island of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean. This snail boasts of hydrothermal vent origins and resides in the deep ocean reaches. The range of the volcano snail has a limit. It occupies the hydrothermal vents deep in the Indian Ocean, approximately 1.5 to 1.8 miles below sea level at severe atmospheric pressure. Volcano snails inhabit three recorded locations – the Lonki vent field, the Kyrie vent field, and the Solitaire vent field. The main difference between these three vent fields is the level of iron concentration. Due to the inaccessibility of these locations, there is difficulty in obtaining information about the volcano snails who live in these regions. However, the Chrysomelon squamiferum population at the Longfi vent field is reportedly teeming. Like many other snail species, the volcano snail is simultaneously hermaphroditic. This means that it has both male and female sexual reproductive organs present at the same time. It is the only species in the family Peltosperidae to be a simultaneous hermaphrodite. Volcano snails practice self-fertilization. Volcano snails lay eggs that do not depend on the mother for nutrients and solely rely on a yolk sac for nourishment. Their eggs are also negatively buoyant, meaning that they are heavier than water. Volcano snails might have a larval or planktonic stage of life after the eggs hatch, but this is under speculation. Because of the volcano snail's rarity and also its tight range, it is not easy to be studied. The intricate details of its reproductive life cycle are still under research. The lifespan of the volcano snail is unknown, but sea snails typically survive for up to 10 years or even more in the wild. Volcano snails do not do well in aquarium environments and only survived over 3 weeks in one. Because of their deep sea hydrothermal habitat, the scaly foot gastropod does not have many natural predators. However, it does have a couple of known predators, other venomous snails and crabs that inhabit the area. The volcano snail's shell seemingly protects it from attacks, but it can still be hurt or die by the assailants. These animals not only prey on the volcano snail, but also compete with it for living space.